What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. So, before we get into anything, let's talk. Ah, oh, look at that. The sun is coming up, so all is well. Now, recently I did a video called why I might stop playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and I explained in that video that I've had the ending of this game spoiled for me and because of that reason I wanted to take a break from this game so I haven't played it in a good couple of weeks except the um, the online stuff which was okay it was a bit eh, it was okay it was fun but it was just okay it didn't blow me away or anything like that but anyway I haven't touched the main story of that game. Uh, ended up having to turn comments off on that video because even though like one certain aspect was spoiled for me, people then took that as free for all and started spoiling other aspects of the game for me. And I was just like, you know what, fuck this, basically. So I turned off the comments for that video. And um, yeah, I just haven't really played it, but I fancied playing a little bit of it tonight, so it definitely annoys me that it's been spoiled for me. I think what surprised me actually was the amount of people who also had the game spoiled for them because of other uh, YouTubers. <coughs> Cough, Shirako, probably. But um, yeah, it's just, it's not, like, it's not okay to have things, like, spoiled. So, come on, Finny, let's go for a little a wee stroll in the dark. Um, so I was on my way here and I just got attacked by like a pack of wolves. <laughs> oh gosh darn it! Okay, don't fall off the edge please. I have to go round the ways. Right, I think you can walk on your own two feet without me leading you so just follow me when you can. Let's head on down, shall we? In the last episode, we did the mission with John. Uh, if you guys are not up to speed, but I'm sure you are up to speed. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry, making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. 
You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. So yeah, I've forgotten like little aspects of the story, so that was like a nice little refresher. Yeah. That obviously he's the guy that we busted out of jail. And then randomly decides that we should just shoot up the entire town afterwards. And uh, it's kind of no wonder he's a, a lone ranger after all of that. <laughs> it's been that long since I played Red Dead 1 as well. Like, people always have a go at me, like, how do you not remember all the characters? It's like, when you play video games for a living and you play that many, honestly, you cannot remember absolutely everything. Unless the game is so memorable like the last guardian to me or dragon quest 11 all right this is the spot hold up on this ridge easy they should be here in a little bit hold tight which way will they be coming in should be from over there we need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Wait, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. You told me to get covered up. wearing it? I'm not wearing it. Why is he not wearing it? Really is that one to use? Has he got it on now? There we go. How did he get over there that much faster than me? Right, let's go and use this gun. Come on, pony! I can't shout Finn because he's asleep next to me, so... The horse is now called Pony. Oh my god, I'm going the wrong way. Come on! gone down to the bottom of the cliff and got the goodies. No? Right, is my face covered? Yes, it is. Let's go! This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! What the hell? Guns up, we got company. Right, can I just try and get to the driver? Excuse me! Now is it? It just wouldn't be the same. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, yes, I'm in a great position. It's all going beautifully. Is that all I got? That's all I got. Okay. Hold up! This is a robbery! This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! 
Stop it right now. Thank you very much. Get to fuck you, stupid punks. Hey, you. Oh, I got the drive. Oh, you bastard. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Why won't you die, sir? Thank you. Enough! <laughs> Good job, Finny. Good job. Alright, stay there, buddy. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you. Alright. For me, sweetheart. Let's go ahead and loot this guy. See, I took far too long on my first attempt just then. How long does it take? Next time I'll leave you in the dust. Why are we not I'm going? Hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean Yeah! I was like, <laughs> on, let's go, go, go! Here, find new rifle too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? I click and butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this haul back in one piece. Why do I feel like that's not gonna be as easy as he is making it out? Um, so I can't have a look at my new rifle just now. I can't even fire it! Uh oh, who's that over there? Is that an ambush? Shit. Now we're being robbed. Oh my god! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Ponies! Fuck. What the hell? Fuck, well that wasn't worth it. Alright, we got one oh shit, no, 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 no. Headshots, I don't care what anyone says. Fuck, man, there's tons of them.
Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. <laughs> Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can. Get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. Well, ain't that swell? That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It is good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. What? Damn. We got some good money on that mission. You must c c complete your mission. Right, okay, my den eye is completely done. What's that over there? Is that just the horses? Um, do I have anything for den eye? Yes, I do. Yummy! Right, so we have to go and see Dutch now. Hopefully, this isn't too deep. Ah, uh, you know, I just have bounty after bounty after bounty. And I went to the train station and was like, you know, I should just be a good citizen and pay this shit off. And you know what happened? I looked at the bill and was like, you can piss off, basically. I ain't paying that. Gotta save my money, sweeties. You know, Haribo is expensive. So let's make our way over to Dutch. If I remember in the last episode, it actually said something about moving our camp. Get out of the way, bunny. Susie doesn't kill animals, only people. Yeah, I, I just I mean, I have bounties in every state pretty much. Hello. How are you? So it's been a week since Finn had his surgery and I'm really blown away with how quickly he is recovering. Like, I am super happy. And they said that I was going to have to have the bucket, the cone, on him for weeks. Weeks and weeks and weeks. And because he's been so good, he's not had to have the bucket on at all, except when I go to bed at night. Because ultimately, I worry that he might scratch his ear and take some of the stitches out. So yeah, it's just been a load off my mind because I've been so stressed out about his ears. Um, and just really stressed out that he might take his stitches out, you know? Right, stay there, pony. So let's go and see Dutch and find out exactly where we're going. Good morning, Arthur. Keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find someplace sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. 
We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Damn, that's a... That is quite the, uh, the compliment. You are my son. I mean, people don't just say that, you know? That is some very, very strong words. So we're gonna go scope it out. Find out if it's actually safe for us to go there. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? Moving, running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried-up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Yeah. So what do we... Whoa! Watch out for the rocks. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Oh. I think they're dead. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. So somebody else look, knows here about it this is. camp. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Maybe I can get some items to cook because my health is not the greatest right now. It's playing music that reminds me of Far Cry 5, actually. I really liked Far Cry 5. Now, there's been that many amazing games this year. Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. And yeah, being careful. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? I don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. 
Go, we need the land. Go. Get the hell out of here. They took off Vaza. Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Um, the girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. But what about the guy on the track? Okay, boy. Let's go. Because maybe that was the dad. I mean, he was blonde. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. The well, at least What's he can track you. you. What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered what are me you freedom doing? if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. <laughs> we should have moved right then, if you ask me. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Over Easy. there. Look, they go along the shore there. I see him. So you were saying? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out hey. for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money the for those sheep. Well. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Careful. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. But Jack, hold up. Let me check this. Oh, I wanted to hear that story. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So, anyway, when Jack was real young, a long while, you hear him? He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Aww. Right, quiet now. There's a cap up ahead. Be careful. I didn't know that. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. So he saw John as family, and John betrayed him. Wow, so they really are close. He's got off at the exact same time as him. Where just is then. this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Uh oh, hello. This looks like our feather, Charles. <laughs> Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Forces, forces, there's an the forces. Take cover! Oh, great. I see three coming this way. What the hell do you think you're doing? You ain't gonna stop. And the fight! What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight. What? Oh shit. Doesn't look like it. We got We got more riding in. You should have come on all my You're a dead man.
Oh my god. <laughs> Last one's making a run for it. Take him down. All right. Probably should have taken my horse for this. You told me you told me to take him out, and now you're telling me to return? Huh. But I really wanted to take him out. <laughs> Cut him free. Let's get him back to his family. I'm a coming. I thought you wanted to get this over with, Arthur. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Come here, Finny. Uh, I mean, Pony. <laughs> Where am I on the map now? Right in the corner. Oh, I'm like pretty much on the opposite side of Blackwater. That's cool. Right, feller. Get on my horse. Yeah, uh, All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Yep. Kind of weird that there's Germans in America at this time. Maybe that's not weird. I'm not exactly the most uh, educated when it comes to history. Um, but yeah, that surprised me a little bit. Okay, I want to get away from these trees. This is not where I want to be, because I will fly off. Where bring the machine? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld? Money? Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? <laughs> sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. When I'll get there. <laughs> That's honestly how I feel when it comes to foreign language. Like, how, who came up with these stupid words? They don't make any sense. It's another concept that fascinates me, though, is uh, foreign foreign languages. Just the fact that we can understand them, you know? That the same words have different pronunciations and... There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank! Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. <laughs> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Bamo. alles klar. Bamo. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. <laughs> ja! So how much is that worth? I suppose I could find a rich person to sell that to, right? Just don't tell Dutch. If I tell Dutch, he'll be like, Woo, right. I want oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Uh. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well. I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Oh, nice! So we're finally into chapter three. Ooh. You guys
guys did say that the story starts heating up a little bit. Um, chapter 3 onwards, so I'm definitely excited. A few days later. Okay, so it can be sold at any fence for a large profit. Um, I think I would like to sleep or maybe eat just it? now. Oh my god! This pony's cute! Oh, he's so cute though! Okay, so let's go ahead and have a little sleep. Um... I'm gonna have a good long sleep because my character needs it, definitely. Or shall I say, Arthur needs it. I say my character because at the moment I'm playing so many games where it's just like a blank character, you know what I mean? So, Arthur needs his sleep. Okay, so what about eating. Oh, should I shave? Hold on. I am starting to look a, a little bit homeless. Just a wee bit. Um, oh my, oh my, oh my, no. Um, shops. God, it looks like a totally different character when you do that. Um, so let's put that length down. I probably could have just gone for all facial hair, but I'm happy with that. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going with it. I look sexy. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I'm looking kind of sexy right about now. What is this? Okay. The view here is so nice. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. How's my little boy doing? Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Oh Good my boy. god. I swear, um, Arthur is more of a, a father to Jack at this point um, than John. It's kind of sad. Oh! It's kind of sad, really. Um, I am hungry. Good evening, sir. So let's go and have something to right. eat. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand. Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <gasps> Enough, both of you! <sighs> well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. <laughs> Are you coming with me then, woman? 
Why do I feel like she looks like me? So I graduated bit. from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright guys, unfortunately that is all I got time for in this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. We going or not? You want me to drive? Honey, no. Um.